What's up guys, my name is Khan, and we're back today in Scrap Mechanic, and I'm back with uh, my good old buddy, Spexy, and of course, you guys are probably wondering why I'm only doing the intro, and uh, we actually went and recorded this, this is a video, um, we had built this a long, long time ago, and we're finally just getting around to doing the video now, and of course, we finally do the video, and for some reason, uh, Spexy had an entire section of corrupt footage, so I talked to him about it, he said, you know what, just post it anyway, so I want to make sure all you guys know right now, go check the link in the description, go check out Spexy's page, send him some love. But anyways, regardless, here is the awesome Papa Pirate. Before I get into it, I want to show you these mods. Now, you may have already seen them on the workshop, but if you haven't, this is part of the Pirate mod that was made by the other guys, and that is uh, the original Naps, who are now known as Axin Wolf, uh, the Pie Guy 24 Gaming, and Mind Slime, and they... I asked them if they could make me a sword. That's how basically it started. And then they kind of made these other bits as well, like the rope and the barrels and the pearl and the cannonballs. Yeah, and it's all there in the pirate mods. If you want to test any of this stuff out, go to the workshop. I will put a link in the description below so you can find out where to find it. Uh, but we're not here to show you that. Although that barrel is having a bit of fun there. Okay, we're going to go down here where the main build is. I, I love how, how decorated this is, by the way. This is ridiculous. This yeah, nice... I went through a little bit of effort. I thought the guys had waited long enough. Yeah. They didn't help me out, and uh, I've kept them waiting and waiting. So, yeah, I wanted to kind of show this off the best I could. If you want to jump in the far seat over, there's a seat right on the end, Khan. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Yeah, that's yeah. it. And I can sit in this one here. And then we'll just row ourselves across. First, we have an awkward encounter at the table at the bar there, and now we've got an awkward <laughs> rowboat ride. It's just... Yeah. Yeah, it, it does look a bit strange. We're staring just a lot. Staring competition. You know what's weird though? If you go into first person, the camera is like a chess mounted GoPro. <laughs> yeah, that's true actually. Why am I looking at your chest? Okay, so here we are. Now you may not recognize what this is, and I'm sure a lot of people won't. In fact, Khan said he'd never seen one before in his life. Uh, yeah, when I a... tell you what it is, you will figure out what I mean by that. But it is based on a toy that was around, I guess, in the 70s, 80s, maybe the 80s, I think. Uh, this is based on it. Oh my goodness, what the heck just happened? <laughs> yeah, that you need to uh, to put the guy in the top. So, okay, oh, okay, let me just tell you what it is. And this yeah. is a pop-up pirate, and it's a toy. You Basically, it's a game. You put swords in the side, and the pirate pops out of the top. At the moment, I'm not sure if I left a pirate in there. Did I leave a pirate in the top, Khan? I, I don't think so. How how does this... Yeah, just steer it around. Oh, okay. I saw... I saw weird stuff on my screen. I did when I turned it originally. It it scared me. Okay, so there should be a pirate up there. Is there one in there or not? No, it's uh, there's a green X. Oh, there's a green X. Okay. Yeah. Painted black and green. Yeah. Your colours, can because you helped. I thought I'd. Do oh. That. Okay. On the side here, then you will see we have a pirate, we have a Spexy, and we have a Khan. I've lined up underneath the instructions. <laughs> they look like they should be like Nintendo characters, like on the on the Wii or something. Like they're just like. <laughs> Yeah, they've got, they're like, the large goofy, heads. Right? They're, and they're then, uh, a bit goofy. I don't yeah. know why your eyes are so low compared to everybody else's, but... Yeah, I know. He's I freaking out, hair. man. He's, yeah, like... Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. Okay. I'm going to say, like, you know, if we put half this effort into our multiplayer Monday, we'd probably have a lot better episodes. I mean, this is this is nice. This is... I could just sit here. This is a good vacation <laughs> spot. Um, I mean, it's so well-themed. And all the rocks and mods and stuff. And you said you but, you have this on the workshop, right? And all the everything spawns as is, like I mean, everything for, apart from the boat ride over. The boat ride over was something that's just for the world. Uh, so we go up to the top here, and you will see this X. So X marks the spot, of course. It's pirate, so let's just put him down here and remove the beam, as the instructions tell us. So we're up to instruction two. And now are we? No, no, number three. Now it's the fourth one. Then take turns placing swords into the barrel holes. Loser is the one that makes the pirate pop. Delete all the swords from the holes and pull the red lever to reset and then repeat steps one to five to enjoy another game. So basically that is it. It's very simple, but Wait, what he goes doesn't on go does he doesn't go is, down into the barrel? He doesn't go down into the barrel, no. Oh okay. he used to. He oh, used to. Yeah, the no. amount of lag that he was involved in this thing. In fact, if you bring out your connection tool, this is one thing I wanted to fix, but I can't. Inside there is a ton of bearings that are holding different beams at different angles. Oh, I, re them. I remember this. That We had this issue before where sometimes it would, like, glitch out. And so I, yeah. Man, it's been was, so there long. There used to be a way where it was held, holding it in yeah. on, like, a spring, which yeah. pushed it out. Yeah, I, re I remember. And then, then, yeah. then the beams were getting on angles and scrap and mechanic it, it physics. it kind of worked 50% yeah. of the time. Yeah, I remember that. get it to work 100% of the time, I'm now using thrusters. So okay. all of this inside here is kind of redundant. 
but I can't get in there to fix it, so I'm leaving it as it is. Yeah, do you want to do you want to stick a sword in, Khan? Any hole you? Any well, hole how you do like? you? Okay, so I'll I'll play with the green swords, I guess, because they're like yeah. the ghosted swords. We'll just. Oh, so how it. how far in does the sword have to go? Like, do I? Uh, just weld it in. Or not weld it. Just place it in so that it's. Like all the way, the or can the handle be sticking out? Like one. The handle can be sticking out. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm gonna I'm just gonna go like this. You got one, yeah. Okay. Oh, that's cool. I heard the sensor cool. blip, so that's good. Mm. I'm going in. It's there. Oh, I'm using a ghost sword. You were using a ghost sword, weren't you? Yeah, no, I will. I'll was. change that. I'll change that. Okay. Okay. I think yeah, I remember I mean, how all this works, too. It's like, uh, what is it, like 20 something sensors? 24, 30? 24, I believe. Yeah, 24 sensors. And then each one's hooked into uh, a memory bit or something i think we'll, we'll, we can go and have a look at it i, I honestly it's... actually i don't remember <laughs> we're, you're, you're, i want to pretend like i do but i really don't okay i'm gonna i'm gonna go here here we go this okay we're good we're safe okay you, you're good yeah okay i've done mine oh you did oh well i'm yeah i'm so slow okay uh well you know what? i'm just gonna cover this wall i think this wall is a good a good bet here the pirate can dodge all the swords coming in at the same side there you've just gone oh, yeah i just i just went yeah yeah oh okay okay i couldn't see i think i put in like three now yeah, this is my third. It will be. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, we're good. Interesting, interesting. Uh, okay. Again, the feeling this is not going to work. That would, that's just going to be... I don't know. Way. We might get through all 24 and it doesn't work, but I think I think it should. Please don't. It should. It used to, I thought. I remember Definitely testing. Did. If you I again? mean, we still... No, I, I'm debating. There's still a bunch. I mean, there's really nothing to this. It's completely random. That what, what you're gonna yeah, there's get. No, there's no skill involved. No, it uses. It's a luck game. Yeah, this uses that triple analog random number generator, right, to pick one of the it 24 does. slots. Uh, yeah, I went. Sorry, yeah, yeah. You went. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm just getting caught up in trying to remember how this all works. Okay, and then. I've gone. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna cover this whole wall. You know, with green swords. So like, I think it's already picked. If I'm not mistaken, I'm. I'm pretty sure it's already picked which one's gonna go okay okay <laughs> we are sticking a ton of swords in this yeah game. this uh, there's like it's gonna be the longest game i've had if this is what? not glitched i mean maybe it is okay it's it's all you can i jump on these rocks i keep feeling like i want no oh, you, you will fall through them kind of can one spot did you go i gone. okay i'm gonna put one right up here don't pop up, don't pop up, don't pop up. Come on. Come on. What? My sword doesn't want to go in there. Hold on. Okay, you know what? Oh, okay. Are we in? Yep. Okay, I'm going to go in this bottom one then. Is that whole side? Oh, there yes! There you go. That's it. <laughs> Holy cow, he gets some wicked height. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> okay, so that is kind of what it does now. So we've got to delete the swords to have a second game, but... We can actually go and have a look underneath because you were saying you couldn't remember how it works. I yeah, I think I remember the the pseudo random part of it. I don't remember how the scoring works. How we okay? How do we how do we? You come down off the side here. Is there a way to turn off the alarms? Yeah, just reset. Pull the reset switch. Did oh, it it's it's, it's uh, we gotta oh, remove the still in there. We gotta remove the swords. Yeah, because otherwise we've got a sword in a new hole. Yeah, and it's gonna keep triggering. Okay, so let's just. Well, that's good. That's one one game for Khan. Super awesome. I like this game. It's like every time you place a sword, you're just waiting for it to. Okay, that's good. That's good. All swords out. All swords out. Yeah. Out. There we go. Okay. So if you come off the front, then down here. Yeah, there's a... And underneath, there's some stairs there. Yeah, okay. And that gets into the logic. So you can kind of go through this bit if you can get up there. You should be um, able to. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm just dealing with some multiplayer. There we go. Okay, so you added a chunk there. What's that yeah, for? Yeah, just for the alarm. Yeah, that's for your alarm. Okay. Yes, okay, I remember how we did this. That's right. So it's 24. 
Okay, no, I, it's all coming back to me. It's all coming back to me. So it's 24. It uses two random numbers. It spins the two random numbers, and then it stops spinning them, so they're stuck in one position. And on the one sensor, it picks, like, the tens value, so either 0, 1, or 2. And on the other sensor, it picks the, the other value, which is, like, 0 through 9. And then I think that's how it picks. So, like, you know, if you go, like, 0, if you're at 0, then 0 times, no, 0 through 8, right? So it's, like, 0 times, yeah, it's, like, 3-bit binary, right? So it's, like, 3 sections of 8. So if you have, you know, 0 times 8 or zero, 1 times 8 or 2 times 8, yeah, okay, it makes sense. Yeah. You're, someone, you lost, lost me somewhere along the way. But well, I, the pieces are, <laughs> someone will figure it out. It's it, On the one set, you have numbers 1 through 3, and on the other set, you have numbers 1 through 8, so you can make any number from 1 to 24 by comparing those combinations. And that's what these blue lines do here. The blue are all the numbers 1 through 28, or 1 uh, okay. through 24. Yeah, so depending on which two sensors are lit up on either side determines which number 1 through 24 it is, and then that determines the sword that'll... That'll pop yeah, it out. Yeah, we kind of worked out that it had to be analog, otherwise you wouldn't get a true random number. Yeah, you can't you can't get random if it's uh, if it uses pure logic. It eventually follows a pattern. Okay, okay you have to go first this time because going first is a disadvantage because if you put the sword in first, you lose. And I am normal swords. Well, yeah, but you won last time. Did you? Put I know, sword but in I'm first? just you know. Yeah, I did last time, but like I mean, we're just gonna. I'm I'm banking on okay, you. Okay, mine's in. Is it already? It's already picked a new number. Is it? Yeah, we reset, didn't we? I think so. I'm gonna take. I can take it out if you want me to. We do. No, again. no, that's fine. That's fine. I, I believe you. Yeah, I think it's reset. Okay, there's a sword. You done one? Yep. Okay. I'm in. It's done. I feel like if I do this and you know, stab my own guy, so to speak, there's like, there's is there something wrong with that? <laughs> All right, perfect. You gone? Yep. I mean, I am using ghost swords, though, so technically... Yeah, you are using the ghost swords. Okay, I was... I hate... One again? I hate... Yeah, I hate placing these things. It's getting them at the right angle, isn't it? That's the problem, but... Well, no, not even that. Go. Like, I just... I get this anticipation, like, I'm just waiting to... Waiting for him to pop. Oh, oh you're gonna... Okay. We'll know when it's gone, because the alarm goes off, obviously. Okay, you went. Oh, man, this is another long game. Yeah. Oh, it's good. It's good. And bear in mind, it could be over in one, couldn't it? I mean, technically, but like it, the odds are ever decreasing, right? So it's like one in 24, then one in 23, then one in Mine's 22, done. then one in 21. So technically speaking, you eventually get to like 50-50 odds. Oh, no! Oh, there you go. There you go. You just, as, uh, you just got wrecked on the rock. staircase. I think you hit your head on the rock as well, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Oddly consistent, though. Okay, so that's one each. Man, so, that... It's a decider. Uh, I'm, I'm... I don't know what to say. Going first, apparently, is the winning strategy. I'll, I'll let you go first if you want. Well, I'll, I mean, we'll just, you know, we'll alternate. We've been we've been alternating. Yeah, okay, so let's remove all the swords. All out. Oh, one, there's one more. Got it. Okay, that's it. I think that's it. Do I have to like flick the reset switch or do I just turn uh, it on? Yeah, you might as well flick the reset switch, it won't hurt. Okay, so you're first. Yeah, I'll go first, sure. Um... Okay. It's <laughs> getting these swords the right way around. I mean, you could put them in either way, it's not gonna make a difference. Oh no, it doesn't it, matter. It's just... Yeah, mine's in. You gotta be kidding me! <laughs> it's all over! The third oh, sword! Are you serious? Uh, and we all landed in the same spot. Do you see that? Are you serious right now? There Are you, you go, man. Oh Sorry, my but, you know, I can't uh, believe I am that. Victor. That was I I can't believe I just lost that on three swords. <laughs> I thought that was gonna be I mean there's no way to win. Like it's random. Like how it are you is supposed random. to But we all landed in the same spot over here as well, which is kinda of freaky. Yeah, that was interesting. It's really cool. I'll post the uh, workshop links in the description, obviously. Guys go check that out. If you haven't seen Spexy, you don't know who he is, you should uh, check him out as well. He's a pretty cool guy. I've known him, we've known each other for a couple years now, I think, right? Like we've yeah, been nearly, since nearly. the beginning of my channel too. So definitely yeah. check out Spexy. He's a really cool dude, makes wicked stuff in Scrap Mechanic. Obviously does a lot more aesthetically pleasing things than I do, as you can <laughs> judge. a lot longer to build as well. There's more effort in this, I think, than I have put in any build ever in my entire time of playing Scrap Mechanic. So make sure you guys check him out and, uh, you know, hit up those links in the description and, uh, and those buttons, that like button, that subscribe button, the comment section, you know, those are all good things. They do good things for channels. They're, they're good times. 
Until next time, from me, Spexy, see you soon. Bye for now. Bye. Bye.